Coulter and Ty, we're third week of the playoffs now where everything ratchets up a little bit. Coulter, you've been through that at Panhandle. Ty, you've been through it a couple times, watched your brother go through it. What is the intensity level like this week as you guys get ready to face Grapevine? Uh, well, it's definitely, it's, I mean, it's, it's obviously super fun, but, you know, it picks up every week after week because, I mean, there's no bad teams from here on out, so that's what I think our focus is really. Yeah, just same thing you said. It, Ty, you've seen Grapevine. You saw them last year. Does that help? Get you a little bit more focused, you guys, as a, a defense especially. Get a little more focused knowing that they moved the ball and did some things and played well against you last year. Yes, sir. They still have that great running back and a good old line. So it'll be a fun game in the trenches. You don't have to – it's not like playing somebody new. Playing somebody this second year in a row, you guys are used to playing somebody a lot in the playoffs. Mm -hmm. We're not going to talk about that yet. But playing a team the second year in a row, does that help sharpen focus even a little bit more? I think so. I think – they're going to come at us harder just because we kicked them out last year, and we got to know that and just uh, play with our head high and don't let don't let it get chippy. So we always got that target on our back. Maybe that's just part of being here. And Coulter, we talked a little bit outside. One thing they did well is they got to the y'all's offensive line a little bit. They they didn't control the game, but they got to you guys a little bit. You weren't here, but watching on video, what do you guys have to do to not let that happen? Uh, we just got to out physical. There's no other way around it. You gotta have great feet, great tight feet, tight hands, and we just gotta go get them. One of you guys, maybe both of you, said out there something that surprised me. You, you, you guys haven't come close to your best game yet. Mm -hmm. How far away are you? Because that could be scary to these teams that are getting ready to play you. I think, I think it's it's coming up pretty uh, pretty soon. If they get it, they get it. We'll build on every game. Mm -hmm. Sure, and that's just what we just gotta keep building every game, nevertheless. Now both you guys missed chunks of time. Mm -hmm. Are you back to where you want to be, or are you kind of still a works in progress as I well? I would say I'm getting there. I mean, I don't think I'm 100% yet. But, I mean, there's days that you know I kind of feel off, but I mean, I just got to push through that for the boys in there. What about you, Ty? This is like mid-season for you two. Yeah, it, yeah. I'm never going to be satisfied with where I am, but uh, my I feel good. So physically, I feel good. And we talked a little bit about you guys missing time, other guys missing time. That's created more depth. Mm -hmm. uh, you guys already had depth, but how has that helped you depth-wise and confidence-wise and guys that stepped in and played for you two? Well, I just think, I mean, there's uh, people that can play multiple positions, so if someone goes down, I mean, it's not. It's an easy fix. Like, someone just hops right in, and what, I think that's something special we have. And Ty, it's kind of scary to think of that defense having even more okay. bodies that they can throw out there. You guys have been good for so long. Tell me who stepped in for you and what role he played. Uh, Timothy. Haynes, uh, he stepped up big time. Uh, he was going to be good regardless of what happened to me, but uh, he stepped up leadership-wise, and his football IQ got a lot higher. 